my first example is going to be creating a picture in picture. Now, you know, picture in picture, picture in picture is a pretty standard effect. See it a lot, you know, for presentations and stuff like that, uh, reaction videos, that kind of thing. So here's my talking head clip that I'm going to use. And then here's the, here's what I'm talking about. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this clip here, what I'm talking about. I'm going to put it on the timeline here, hit the E key. And there we are. So I have my base, my clip here in the main timeline. So I want to create a picture in picture using this talking head clip. So I'm just going to take this from the browser, my talking head here, and I'll put it in the track above and I'll just trim it here just to, so it's the same length. Let me just go into the timeline a bit. There we go. Obviously to create a picture in picture, we have to use the overlay track here. And so we'll select that. And then up here, Here's the viewer in the toolbar here. You can see that the overlay settings are activated. And right now we're in cutaway mode, which means the, the clip over top and the overlay track is just gonna cover the, the clip below. So you don't see the clip below. So I'm gonna go in here and select picture in picture because I wanna make a picture in picture. And there I am, picture in picture. I can put myself here. I can put myself here, which is probably better for framing. And I can resize this say like that. And this comes in with a fade, which is standard for picture in picture, which I don't want. So I'm just going to go up to the tool here and where it says dissolve, it's 0.5 seconds. I'm going to put that to zero. And so now we don't have that. So here's my lovely picture in picture. You know, I look at this and I look at my talking head picture here. You know, I'm only in this much of the frame. It'd be nice if this was actually square rather than the 16 by nine. I can't do anything here in picture in picture. All I can do is sort of size it and do that kind of thing. Too bad. <laughs> no, not too bad. You can actually fix that. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So in order to do this, though, I'm going to have to remove my, my picture in picture inset shot here. So I'll just select it and hit the delete key. And we're back to the base shot. I'm gonna go up to my shot, my talking head shot in the browser, and it's selected. Now notice here in the browser, you see your shot in the viewer, but also notice there's all these tools still here. What does this mean? It means you can add effects and do things to clips in the browser, not just the timeline. So I could add, you know, I could add filters if I wanted to to this clip in the browser, I could fix the audio, I could do all kinds of stuff. I can also crop it. I'm gonna select the cropping here. Now look at this. This is the cropping interface in the browser. Looks a little different from the one in the timeline. Let me just quickly just select this clip in the timeline. And you can see we have cropping selected and we got the fit and crop to fill and the Ken Burns. So I can, you know, crop to fill and do this and I could zoom in, say, and crop into this. Now notice though that this cropping window is restricted to the 16 by nine of the project. I can't change this. However, let me go back to my clip here in the browser. See this lovely little button here that says crop? Select that. We actually have custom cropping here. I'm not restricted to the 16 by nine anymore. So I could grab the end here, the edge and pull it in. I want to make a square thing. I want to make a square. I'm going to pull this here and then I'm going to grab this end here and I'm going to do that. And now it's square. And then I'm just going to click the blue check mark. We have a square clip now, which is what I wanted. So now I'm going to grab this clip from the browser, put it back over top here. I'm gonna create my picture in picture, go up, picture in picture, and look at that. Now I have the square shaped picture in picture, and there it is, square. And that's using the cropping feature in the browser. A couple things, I can't, crop this after the fact. So now that this clip is in the timeline, I can't go back and do anything with it. If I say, for example, I select it and now I want to do crop again, 
I'm restricted again. I don't get that custom cropping tool. You can't change after the fact. You have to do the cropping in the browser and then put it into the timeline. So that's the, the one caveat there. And here's the thing too, it's not permanent because I know people say, oh no, does that mean my clip is permanently cropped forever and ever? No, you can go right back in here and you can reset it and be done. And your clip is back to what it was before. That's cropping in the browser. We're gonna create a split screen instead of a picture in picture. So I'm gonna grab my, my clip again here and I'll put it in the timeline, press E. And now I'm gonna grab this clip and I'll drag it and just put it over top. And I'll just trim like I did before. So they're the same length. And I'll zoom in, Command Plus. There, okay, so now I'm gonna do a split screen. So to do that, again, you need to have a clip in the overlay track, the second track above the main track. Select that, go back over to the viewer. Here's our tools again. Here's our overlay settings. Right now we're in cutaway. Go down, this time I'm gonna select split screen. And there's our split screen. Now you, you have some settings here in split screen. So for example, if we go back up, we can position our overlay track that this left half, right now it's in the left, you can see it says left in position. So that's our overlay track. It's on the left side of the split screen, but we can change that. We can place it on the right side of the split screen by selecting right in this menu. You can actually split horizontally. So you can put your overlay track in the top by selecting top or going back to this menu, bottom. All right, let me go back and I'll just do left. Also with split screen, you can have a transition. So over here you see slide. This is a transition to get into this split screen. So right now it's zero, so it just kind of cuts in. But if I bring this up, let me see, I'll just go up to like a second or something like that. And then I bring back the playhead here. You'll see, watch. It slides in and you can't, change that transition that's the transition probably would want that to be a little faster yeah so you can transition and it'll transition out which may or may not be a good thing so you can't change that it, it'll slide in and it'll slide out as far as i know you can't have it just slide in or just slide out it does in both sides so that's a split screen this split screen is not that great because you can see over here on the right this side, it's not centered on really what I'm talking about. So say I'm talking about this, this drive going on about the great features of this SD drive. And then over here, it's kind of like off center in the split screen. I can't, I can't do anything. I can't adjust anything here in the split screen settings. And what the split screen does is it's kind of like a crop to fill. So what it'll do, it'll crop to the center of the frame and fill it. So here I'm in the center of the frame here. That's why it looks so good. It's because I'm in the center here. What I'm talking about is slightly off center. So it's off center in the split screen. What do we do? We're gonna use our crop friend. We're gonna use that feature crop. And we're actually gonna use it on this bottom clip that's off center. We don't need to do it here in the overlay clip because it looks fine. Because these are already in the timeline, I kinda have to start again. So I'm just going to delete these clips. All right, so this time I'm gonna grab my base clip here in the browser. I'll go over to the top here, select a crop, go into crop. Now I'm gonna use crop to center this more in the frame. So I'm just gonna grab this end here and just center it just so kind of like here. I'm going by this little crop mark up here as sort of the center to kind of get this, this drive, this object, which is the subject of the shot, in this case, what I'm talking about, in the center. So I'm just gonna do that a little bit there. Take it, and now we see it's in the center. So now I'm gonna grab this. I'm just gonna drag it here, and we can see it's cropped. I'm gonna grab my talking head shot again, put it there. Trim it up. All right, go back here, select the overlay clip, 
back up to cutaway, split screen. Now this is centered. And that's using the crop. So not only can you use the crop creatively to change the shape of frames, but you can use it to fix things like split screen. For this one, I am going to be using this clip of, <laughs> this is my dog, Barry. We tend to talk to each other a lot. So we, you know, we had a Zoom meeting. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to take this Zoom recording and just make it a little more uh, compelling to look at using the crop tool. Now, just one thing before I get started, if you want to have this look of the two up, two people on at once in Zoom up in the top right corner, switch to gallery view. Just a little note in case you're wondering. So the first thing I'm going to do to spice this up a bit is I'm going to go grab a background from iMovie here. Let's see. Let me grab organic. Just using it for an example. I'm getting a little too intense here. All right. So here's the organic background. Okay. I'm going to go back to my media here. And once again, like before, I'm going to go into and the browser and select my Zoom interview. And then over here in the viewer, I'm going to go to crop again. And then I'm going to hit the crop button. But this time, I'm going to crop from the top. So I'm going to grab this and just crop out this black part. Big black bar in the front. It's hard to see this, this part here. You kind of have to judge it. There we go. And it actually snaps, which is kind of cool. So I just want this part. I don't want all this black background. So I've done my crop here. Check mark. Now, it doesn't look like anything changed. Well, let me go over here. And still in the browser, it doesn't look like anything changed. But when I grab this and I bring it into overlay, there. <laughs> That's what I wanted to show you. So now, let me just go back and just trim this. Actually, I'll just bring this out. Just uh, stretch it out here. So now we have our Zoom interview. And instead of having all that black, we now have a background. Now that background could be anything. It can be a branded background you create. You can do anything you want. You can create a background. You can put text on it. Like, you know, you can have your text of your name of your brand or show or whatever here in the corner. But that's a way you can use the crop to actually create transparency in a clip. So that's a creative function. 